Hello everyone, welcome to this ASMR video. And today I want to present you an interesting book that I have. Now, I first saw this book up in Montreal at a library and it was much bigger than that. But this book is called Jimmy Corrigan, The World's Smartest Kid. And it's, it's written and created by, by Chris Ware, W-A-R-E. Now, it doesn't say his name anywhere on the book, but this is a paperback, a, a, basically a paperback epilogue to, a paperbound epilogue to, to, to that bigger book. It's pretty much recreated. I put some, uh, some post-its here just to get to the, to the better parts that I want to show you about this book because it's an interesting book. It's basically about this guy named Jimmy Corrigan. When when he was a kid, he 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 remembers that he had went to go see Superman. You know, the actor who played Superman. Well, he thought it was Superman, at, at like a at an exhibition. And and the next morning when he woke up, he saw that Superman actor in his home eating breakfast after spending the night with his mom. And then, but he had, he hadn't seen his dad and, and well, he basically he met his dad for one own for one time only. And this is basically his sad story of, of, of his basic his his adventures. Now, it's an intric intricate book. Now, if you notice, okay, if you may have wondered what that poster up he, what that is, I drew that one day. I added the red to it, but that is from this book that I that I that I adapted well into that picture, and it's a new pictorial language. Now, demonstrate what I mean. He has a certain creative style of the weird way he connects panels. I mean, there's even a kind of. A, general instructions and how to use this book and how to read it with all kinds of interesting things like a exam and your here's the exam thing that you can fill out all kinds of crazy thing and this basically explains what this is all about and this is basically how to read this comic it's a it's basically an instruction manual to how to read this and I'll give you some examples now he does all kinds of cool things like you can actually construct one of those kind of as you can see in the corner where you turn it where you get to turn it and it looks like this guy here when you look through the each of the slits that this this guy is limping along and he gives you instructions in the back and and how to put it together uh, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it gives you these instructions on how to put it together. And I'm going to take off the uh, each one as I go along. And he does interesting stuff in his panels, like stuff like like that. I remember being mesmerized by this book when I first seen it up in Montreal, and when I had a chance to actually buy it, I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, and this is him trying to piece together who his who his dad is. It starts right from, like from 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 the birth of his mom and dad, all along to to the to the end. Oh, it's crazy. See, there's a picture of his mom and him, and a picture of his dad that was cut, that was torn that was torn in two because it was actually not torn in two, but it was folded in the back of a of a photo thing that he had. If you haven't ever seen this book, and if you ever see it around, I suggest picking it up because it's a fantastic, interesting book. It's a sad little story, but it's the way he draws it, and he'll he'll he does panels like like that, for example, also. And and stuff like this. 
and it's a weird jumble of, of of the way he puts the panels together. And, oh yeah, it's a it's it's one of the most interesting books that I own. And give you another example. And in here, he gives you all these little cars that you can, because in the bigger book, these were per. It was it's actually kind of per. It's still perforated a little bit, I think. Oh, no, it's not. But in the bigger book, it was perforated so you can pop these out and cut them and cut them down because each on the back of each one of them, they have a little description of each of the towns, which is interesting. And there's Jimmy Corrigan, and every chapter kind of starts with a, with a weird picture like that on it. I am not giving this any justice at all to what it really is. I'm just kind of showing you quickly here of what this book is sort of about even go so far as to putting instructions on how to create a paper house and I'll show you the back of that so you understand so you're not supposed to pop it out from from uh, from the book itself but you're supposed to actually draw it yourself and then you can construct yourself that's the land where the house and everything would go. And on, again, on the first page of that, it, it, you can, yeah, it shows you each of the, of the houses and everything that you could put together and, which I think is super interesting. It, it's pretty cool. That is actually like a, uh, um, a horse and buggy set. And, and it gives you instructions on how to put it together and everything. And then, I'm not going to dwell too long on this, but give you some idea. Yeah, so here's the last little part here I want to show you. Again, him trying to figure out things from a, from a yearbook and how, I love how he puts arrows and to guide you pretty much to what's what and where is where. interesting way interesting way of, of, of creating panels and stuff i love this book i haven't looked at it in a while but i was thinking of what to show you for a video today and this kind of popped in mind so it's a it's a pretty thick book uh, i'll give you some some ideas of how it kind of lays out there, there he's trying to imagine what all his dads might look like and all the, of course all the eyes are are blacked out you know to, to protect their identities I guess so yeah he's trying to figure out who his dad is and there he meets up with his grandfather he's on a boat you know he goes through these adventures and it, it's a it's an interesting book give you an idea of what that is I can't really see what you're seeing right now but yeah so let's keep going Chicago for the for the World Fair and that really beautiful art and see that thing that you can cut out of the house and the yard and everything that's it right there that's kind of and with the horse and buggy so that's what you would be cutting out and so on and so forth I don't want to go through everything it just give you an idea of of how it's put together he has a certain kind of visual language and art style that is just it's just wonderful going with different color <laughs> like girlfriend <laughs> yeah it's interesting it's an interesting, interesting book. And this guy, basically, he's crippled with the fear of being disliked. He, like, he has a fear. He wants to be liked. He wants people to like him. So he has a crippling fear of not being liked. It's an interesting, it's an interesting concept for a, for a book. I'll give you a couple more pages here. I'm skipping so many pages. But he does stuff like this, you know. Talking, I think he's talking about the Chicago fire or something like that. Meanwhile, 
and I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to give you a good sense of the of the art style of this book. Oh, right, we'll go there, and see, look at look at how he puts the panels together, and he does that all throughout the book here and there. Some some are a little bit more standard, some are not. And yeah, here's him as a kid again going to the what is it? I think it's a uh, it's some sort of uh, ex like expo that he went he that he was going to. I'm not sure the year of it, but yeah, all these crazy is a crazy story. But I really love it. I need to read this again. I haven't read this in a while, but I've read it at least a few times, which is why it's a little worn out. A little worn out. But I do like to read this again when I get the chance. If I, I'm, I'm so busy. There he's at. He, there he is again at the, at the, at the fair and stuff. With the McDonald's in the background and. And it's an interesting book, interesting style of art. And like I said, the first time I saw it, the book was twice the size and hardcover. So, give you some more interesting look in the book. I'm skipping so much. But the, yeah, and then we get to that page again where he's looking at the yearbook and making connections. I don't want to spoil the story for you, really. But yeah, it's there's an epilogue and so the end. So it's interesting. Yeah, I I, I really like it. I really love it. So that is. Jimmy Corrigan, the, the basically the adventures of Jimmy Corrigan, the smartest kid on earth, and this is copy, this is copy five, uh, five, uh, fifty-eight thousand four hundred and and sixty-three. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's, and this is basically him t telling you that, won't you help? Because people have been throwing this book away, and and we need people, you know. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll read that because it's interesting. It says, every 12, 12 and a half minutes, someone, somewhere, is throwing out their copy of Jimmy Corrigan, the smartest kid on earth. Discarded, unwanted, left alone. These increasingly irrelevant mementos of the turn of the last century need your aid, your love. Whether in a dumpster or a gar garage sale or buried in an embarrassing section of a chain bookstore. And now, for only pennies a day, you can sponsor one of these orphans. Your very own foster Jimmy Corrigan, the smartest kid on earth. That's right. Just a few cents or $9.95 in the U.S. and $22.95 in the Canada. We'll start the caring. Help save a dying irrelevant art today. Please donate before it's too late. That's just his way of trying to get you to buy this book. Which is, I think is interesting and funny. I, I, I love that. So before it gets too long of a video, I'm just going to leave it here and say as always, please be safe. Take care. I will see you on the flip side. And please have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace, everybody.